Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Synology disk station, um, not the actual hardware, we were looking at the actual management of the disk station using iOS devices. Okay, so if we just take a quick look here, just have a look at what the mobile, uh, uh, sorry, the um, desktop version looks like. I'm just going to go to my disk station here. We'll log into it as per normal. I tend to always use the admin uh, account when I'm using my disk station. So notice I'm running at DSM version 4, so this is the latest version here. And this is the actual desktop version. So we'll take a quick look. You've got all your applications in here uh, and a few other bits and pieces and you can place whatever you like on the desktop. Uh, so I just want to show you what the actual desktop version looks like. I'm not going to go into these in detail. Um, and we'll now have a look at what the iOS version looks like. You can run your iOS version on your iPad or your iPhone. Um, and we'll see what that looks like. So you'll be able to see the actual, now that you've seen the desktop version, you'll be able to see the differences in between the desktop and the iOS versions. So uh, let's get started and uh, have a look at the iPhone first. Okay, so here we have my iPhone. If I go into my network section here, we can see that Synology have already released a few different applications for iOS-based devices, such as DS File. DS File lets you view all of the uh, files and uh, data on your Synology NAS. You've also got DS Audio, which I've not got installed because I don't really use. Uh, but that will let you play back audio and so on. There's a few other applications such as surveillance station and so on. Um, what we're going to look at at the moment is the actual overall management. It's have a basic overview of the management of your disk station. You would use DS Finder. So if I open DS Finder here, it goes and does a quick search on your LAN for all, your, all of your disk stations. Uh, I've only got the one, I've got it set as a favorite. Setting it as a favorite means you don't have to actually log into it every time you want to use this. So if I select that, it should go straight into my disk station here and give me some basic information uh, such as the model, the amount of RAM you have, how long it's been up and running uh, and the actual current temperature of... Uh, so that's an average temperature of the entire unit, so it's all the disks within the unit. If I move across to network by clicking the button down the bottom it gives us some network information such as all my MAC addresses, IP addresses and so on and if I go across to storage it gives me an overview of how much uh, space I've got available and how much space has been used on my disk station now I have actually just archived a, a lot of information off of my disk station just to free up some space so I've pretty much got my unit uh, as new again and if I scroll down a little here we can see all of my hard disks the actual operational status, they're all in normal uh, status, which is perfect. I've got five two terabyte disks in my disk station. If I go into any one of these, um, I can view the actual model number of, so I've got Samsung spin points in my disk station, as we can see here, so there's the, the model number. The actual temperature of that disk, the size of the disk, and the volume it belongs to. Now, all of my disks are in the same volume, um, but this will it's good for seeing the individual temperature of each disk and so on. Now if I go to the button at the top right corner here and click on this, we've got a few options here. Find me lets your Synology, or basically tells you where your Synology disk station, your Synology NAS is. So if you've got a few different Synology NAS stations on your network, find me, clicking the Find Me button, will make your NAS beep continuously so you can actually physically locate it. DSM Mobile, which is what we'll look at in just a second. And you've got your restart, your shutdown options there, and your email option, which basically emails you all of the information, all of your status information from your disk station. So DS Mobile gives us a more in-depth overview of the disk station and has many more management uh, options. So if we go into that, that basically opens Safari and if I just go to the address at the top here we can see it's the same as logging into your disk station as you would uh, through your desktop, through your Mac or your PC desktop. 
So if I log into this here, so as I said, I always use my admin account to log into my disk station. Okay, so after entering my password, you can click remember me if you want to, that way you don't have to continually enter your password every time you're going to log into your disk station. Um, and then I'll click login. And once it's logged in, we'll see we've got a much more in-depth overview of the disk station. So we've got your applications down at the bottom there, such as DS file, it would have DS audio and so on if I had them installed on my iPhone. You can actually go in, see all of the users, and change passwords, change their groups and privileges and so on. You can do the same with groups. So you can go into all the different groups, again, change privileges, uh, see who's members of that group, um, and so on. We've got all of the shared folders across the NAS, so I've only got these four shared folders on there at the moment. One contains all my personal data, and the other three are used uh, because I've got DLNA servers switched on uh, on my disk station, so I can play multimedia across the, across the building. We've got services you can switch services on and off so both your LAN services and your internet services auto block so this will automatically block people that uh, cannot or are trying to guess your password and so on we've got our package center so these are all the packages I've actually got installed on my disk station at the moment uh, I've only got the two switched on so that my media server which is basically your DLNA server and my iTunes server not using the others at the moment, but I can easily switch them on and off from here if need be. All of your logs for all of your disk stations, so if you want to have a look at all of your logs to see if anything is going wrong. Resource monitor, this is a nice feature here just to see all of the resources that are being taken up by your disk station, um, how much network bandwidth it's using and so on. So mine is idling at the moment as we can see. And we've got an help section here, which uh, gives us, it's almost like a, a user guide. So that's the disk station management on an iPhone. As we can see, we can do quite a lot with the management of the disk station here. If I click on the button at the top right here, just like we did previously, again, we've got some similar options. So the find me option, the restart shutdown, and we can go to the full on desktop edition if we want to not really too usable on your although you can use it on your iPhone it's not really too usable it's much nicer to use this interface here so um, again it's nicer because of the bigger screen on the iPad it's nice to actually use this on your iPad and you get the information right next to uh, next to each of these options so what I'll do now I'll switch across to my iPad and we'll take a look and uh, see if there's anything different it should all be completely the same uh, but again as I said it's much easier to view okay so here we are on my iPad if I go to my network section on this uh, system here um, we can see we've got DS finder in the middle there so I'm just gonna have a quick look at that just to show you the differences here as we can see it's not like the iPhone you've got your menu on your left and then you've got a nice big area on the right. So if I go into my disk station and log into it, so I put my password into my disk station here, I'm going to log in. It gives you a much nicer interface. You can see everything straight there. Again, go into my storage, go into my disks, and there's just a little pop-up that uh, gives you all of your disk information. So it's very nice. Again, you've got the email button at the top corner, a refresh button, and the button here with all of the same options as you would have on your iPhone. Now, rather than click on DSM Mobile here, if I log out of this, and I'm actually going to open Safari and go straight to my disk station here, and that's just to show that it takes you to exactly the same place. So by browsing the web address or going through the previous app, you get to exactly the same place. So I will enter my credentials here again. Okay, so with my credentials entered, again, you can have it remember your credentials so you don't have to keep logging in. Then you press the arrow here to actually log in. And we'll see that this is much nicer to work with because 
you have the menu down your left side, as we can see here, and a nice big area on the right uh, where you can see all of your information. So again, user, group, we can see everything is exactly the same as it was on the iPhone. There's no difference whatsoever between the iPhone and the iPad. It's basically just the layout. So uh, package center there, you can switch your, your services on and off. System information, which is basically what the, the DS Finder app showed us. Um, the logs resource monitor again it's much nicer to see because you do see more on the actual screen and you've got the, the help section and the DS uh, links to your applications down the bottom if we click on this button at the top here again you've got the same options the find me the restart shutdown and we've got the desktop edition so if I click on desktop edition it will reload exactly what we saw at the beginning of this video when it came to looking at it on the actual desktop. So you've got exactly the same options as you would have as though you were on your actual desktop. So it is usable this way. On the iPhone it's not as usable because of the size of the screen. With the bigger screen on your iPad it's much more usable. You can go into your different, if I go into file station here, it takes a little while to load up, so you again you can see you can go straight into your files. Um, you've got the quick start, so the actual setup, and so on. And we can log out and go into options at the top corner here. There's a button down the bottom that says DSM Mobile. We can click on that. Again, it will take us back to the mobile version. So it's very nice to use the mobile version. You can completely manage or almost completely manage your disk station uh, very easily. Really nice touch to uh, have have it in this view. Again, it's a, it's very nice and easy to use this on the iPhone and the iPad, but the, the more screen space on the iPad makes it uh, that much more nicer to use. So I hope you've found that helpful. I'm just going to log out on my disk station here and log out. So I hope you found that useful, um, very easy to manage your entire Synology NAS via your iOS device and uh, the actual Synology applications available for the iOS devices are also very nice, I may cover them in a future video uh, if you have any interest, but there you go, so there was the management of the disk station by Synology through your iOS devices.